Hello again, everybody watching on the live stream. You're watching the French Open by Predator 2015. This is a first round match up between Alexander Eve of France and Tim de Reuter of the Netherlands. third consecutive Dutch player we've had on the stream. We've already seen Mark Bisterbosch and Nick Vandenberg who were victorious in their first round matches. Maybe made harder work of it than what we expected. Now we're going to see another young Dutch player, Tim De Reuter, only 19 years old. Against Alex Ev, one of the top French players. Tim won the lag, about to break off in the first rack. It's an illegal break by Tim De Reuter, meaning control of the table passes. Alex has the op option to shoot, which he's going to take, playing a safety. He's a pretty fast player, Alex, who I know from playing in on the national tour. He tends to get down on a shot, shoot it not thinking too much about well that's probably doing him a discredit there if I say he doesn't think about it he knows what he's got in his mind and gets down and gets done be an interesting contrast of styles perhaps Looks like Alex may get an opportunity. First real opening in the rack one. So watch out. Ev is not the first name of Alex Ev. That's Alex the first name. And the last name is Ev. And uh, as I told you before this game, mm. it's I was a just very talking about the player. fast style of yeah. Alex Ev. It's going to be an interesting matchup to watch. Very aggressive player, trying to go for it most of the time. And uh, we saw that on the two. Very over speed shot. And. Uh, Got away with it though. Didn't leave Tim any opportunity. He's going to have to go via the rail. Now I have to correct something. I told you that Vincent Fake won't be there this year. It is not the case. He's there. He's standing here in front of us with yeah. a cue in his hand. So, yeah, so <laughs> Fake is there. <laughs> and uh, another contender for the, for the tournament. Last year's finalist. Yeah. One of the strongest French players, so oh, the second every chance of the going second one we've yeah. got taking uh, the other the, the records and the titles. And then second player of the three in France, Vincent Paquet. And he's also world champion, three times world champion. And uh, special LVD in pool. It's a uh, Trick shots. Snooker trick shots, right? No snooker trick shots. US pool trick shots. American, okay. Yeah. I know there's some snooker trick shots too, which are pretty spectacular to watch. Sure. Worth checking out on YouTube. 
Alec, Alex has made a hash of that. Yeah. But, again, doesn't leave anything on for, uh, for Tim. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Feel free to say hello and share, of course, the, the link for the stream. I want to get everyone watching this event and a lot of enthusiasm behind day one, leading up to the second day tomorrow when things are going to get serious. Single elimination from the final 32. Matthew Pereira last against Patrick Zavkiewicz. 9-7, close Nine one. Seven, yeah, close one, but Patrick is a solid player, as I told you before, so no surprise. But uh, Mathieu is also good. He's a local player, he's playing there. So, pretty confident on the tables. He's coming from the qualifications. So That's right, played. qualified in the Group B yesterday. Uh, Alain de Costa, another strong young French player. He's up 7 3 at the moment against Anthony Van den Busche of Belgium. Van den Busche qualified in Group D this afternoon, took the last spot with a victory of uh, Hung Hei. Nick just left uh, the pool room with all the family, his wife and uh, his two kids. Two children. Yeah. Short break and back again this evening. Yes. On the winner's side. Maybe we'll have him on our stream. We have to wait and see the running order. Mm -hmm. You can keep up with the brackets on ebilliard.billiardport.com. We're making our way through the first round. Just heard uh, the boss of the EBR, Kem Sem, trying to uh, to pronounce uh, the name of the players with uh, the correct accent. Not already, not always easy for him, but it was okay. I give him a a C minus. Yes, I yes, think. maybe maybe not less, may maybe less, that. but he's trying to. So <laughs> Full marks for effort. <laughs> As Alex rattles the six ball in the corner pocket. Leaving an open opportunity for Tim now. Very nice shot from Tim. Seeing this, uh, this situation, to this place, very uh, far away of the object ball. And he played uh, a good speed on this throw. He has a very routine situation to handle now. Yeah. Yeah, very confident also, very young talent, Tim Derrida. I played him by twice, one once, lost the second by a big donut during the 2014 Logan Ibelix Open. It happens. He let you win the first one, right? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but he remember that I, he lost the first, so the second wasn't the same the same song as we say in French. But la même chanson. And I lost 7-0 uh, during this game, in the second game. That's I tell you what, 19 years old is making me feel old. Yeah, yeah, but he played a lot of European Championships, youth categories. He also played big tournaments, uh, made good results in Euro Tour. He's very, uh, very focused on. Yeah, another one in the, on in the long production line of young Dutch talent. Yeah. And pretty nice guy also. So. It's a nice break there from Alex Ev. 
And he pots the one ball with authority. <laughs> We're looking to level things up. It's a challenge. I guess you'd make Tim the favorite in this match, but Alex is certainly capable of beating anyone when he plays at his best level. Yeah, uh, he's a lot of, a lot of things. I mean, that uh, he is always go for, go for, uh, for balls, and uh, he has a big shot, very precise, and you know, risk is not a problem for him. It's part of the, it's part of the of his game, taking risks. Most of the time, he don't let you easy shots after after his race because of, because of the speed he's is playing. I mean, uh, over speed shots most of the time. That's right. Hit it hard enough, you might just get something safe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nice not bad. Uh, he can play safe also. He's not bad uh, in this uh, part of the game, but. Not the first, not the first uh, choice for him. Look, not a bad one. Maybe a bit, a bit short. I don't know if team is can see all the, all the two. Maybe yes. Not sure. Got an interesting matchup developing on table five in front of us. Oh. Mikhail Merabtin. Did you see this? 5-5 five five against Del Sim. Did you see the snooker shot from Tim? He's playing snooker also, Tim. And not bad, uh, not badly. It showed so with that shot, yeah. Yeah. So it was a two-way a two-way shot. And he, he pocketed the, the two, so nice. Nice two down. Wow. Wow. It was an Alex F shot. <laughs> Was it Tim DeRuta's shot? Also, yeah, mostly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Representing Sport Pub Goose in from the Netherlands, in the city of Goose. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but. Goes. Goes. Goes, yeah, goose, goes. I'm not a specialist for uh, pronunciation of the. Dutch, Dutch words. Shout out to the sport pub in Goals anyway. Mm -hmm. Nice shirt. Hope you guys are watching. Nice shirt from from team. You can see really uh, that on the on the screen. But pretty nice shirt. And Alex made a a kind of effort also because he doesn't used to have this kind of shirt. It is pretty pretty nice. Yeah. And. First tie or second tie because he was on the tie. First tie of the game, one all. I don't know for you, Joe, but it's going to be a pretty unpredictable game. I agree. <laughs> um, I think with Alex, sometimes it can be amazing, sometimes. If he's playing fast and he misses a simple looking ball, you yeah. think he's playing much too fast. Yeah, and sure. I already beat I, I already guy beat this kind guy. Of plays hot and cold yeah. sometimes. Not not absolutely the most consistent, but we've seen him in national competitions with some very impressive performances. Sure. I already beat him. He already beat me also. And sometimes it's, uh, it's about seven one seven two. Sometimes it's seven six, and uh, you can have the opposite score also. So, you know, question of four opportunities and uh, safeties are always the key during the game. So, and he's gonna have to go for it again. Watch out! Yeah, he's certainly not afraid of. Taking on tricky shots. But short. Cue yeah, boys. Short. Put him in trouble. Hey, watch out the overspeed shot on this one. I think he's going to create something. Yeah, you see, barely even taking warm up strokes. He just gets down and shoots 
And sometimes he makes 100% of shots, sometimes maybe 50. <laughs> see the result. A lot of two. Nice of kick shot here, yeah. Two good first control. Alex is going to have an opportunity. Plays in the shoot again club in the Nation, Nation district of Paris. Left English, a lot left English. Speedy. I mean, three rays after, after contact. One, two, three. You got it. But short. Just needs to come yeah. a bit more. And over speed shot to come. Can handle that. Two way first before the three because I don't think he can can see a piece of this three. Yeah, you don't see. I don't think so. Maybe three way. Oh, okay. You don't not have a yeah of a spirit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine ball. Yeah. He's pretty good on straight pull also, Alex. Pretty good, pretty instinctive player. So uh, when the table is open, he's clean, he clean the table very, very quickly, and he's only working on the on the transitions, you know. In France, we play eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, and straight ball. Yeah. In the federal competitions. More, more, te more ten ball and more nine ball than than the others. But uh, on the small categories, I mean, in the second division, we are playing all the, cat all, the, all, the all the games. It's not really the case a part of the year for, uh, for the Masters in the first division. But at the end, during the French Championship in June, all the games are, play are played by all the players. Do you have a preferred game, Christophe, of those four? I have two, two main games. Clearly, uh, straight pool and ten ball. But uh, I only won titles in nine ball, so... <laughs> I mean, French, French national title, second division. So, only runner-up in, in eight ball. Runner up in fourteen uh, in straight pool and uh, nothing so far in ten ball, but we are playing ten balls in competition since only two years now. So Okay. Over team shots. Possibly uh, two one for team. Oh, little bit long. Wow, not a bad result for after this draw. Yeah, he's gonna have to to kill it. Be very careful with this one. Watch out. To yeah, he made it. He's close to the right side of the pocket but okay good speed and the pocket accepted the, the nine ball two one it's going with the break so far Alex has turned now Evo Arts is leading 5-0 against Nigel Webb. And strong game for Yannick Barabes from uh, Pierre Lay against uh, Joao Cardozo. Good player, good Portuguese player. 
I had the opportunity to play with him a uh, little yesterday afternoon, and uh, that's a very nice guy and a good player. So Yannick will be in difficulty, will be uh, in trouble against this guy if he is not uh, stepping in this game. We will see. Maybe tried to make the bank there, Tim. Hard to tell, and he's left the one ball close to the pocket. Uh, we've got a cluster, or close to be a cluster, on the top of the table, between the four and the five. Don't think the ball are online. Well, if we know Alex, he's going to try and find <laughs> a way to <laughs> yeah. take that on. Watch out. The Watch the wow, side pocket. Wow, 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 wow. He's going to change his plan, I think. It's a pretty aggressive and effective safety. Dealt with the problem of the four and the five. I like Alex's thinking there. I was hoping that he's going to get another opportunity back at the table after Tim takes on this kick shot. He's now opened up the four and the five problem, which was there before. He brings a foul from yeah. Tim De Reuter, so yeah. good safety play pays off. <laughs> Score is 2-1 for Tim De Reuter. We're waiting for our computers to update that. Maybe one player forget to score they are uh, in charge of the, of the scoring we don't see you don't see that but uh, all the tables has got uh, a tablet or I don't know the word in English uh, a screen and you can you can uh, increase your your own score by pushing uh, or touching the, a plus on the screen on your side that's Just right so if the scores are wrong it's not our fault <laughs> yeah, this kind of coming from you us. You can only blame the players. <laughs> yeah, the plus, I mean, is and uh, your picture. Yeah, seriously, the uh, the billiard port portal. Yeah, is pretty. Uh, it's pretty damn good. All automated, no paper match sheets and any of that nonsense. <laughs> Just touch the tablet and updates online. Yeah, easy for running tournaments. And it allows us to, uh, to produce on, because of fairly as a mere um, a live scoring is available online that you can find on the other sports. And uh, it's important. It is an important part of the organization. Uh, just to say hello also to uh, Nicola, Kalb, and Barbara Lamy. They just got a, a little child. Child. baby. A baby, yeah, a baby. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> we say that in French ago, because now. Barbara is not understanding English, you know. She's got to, to take some, some lessons, but felicitations, Barbara, for your, for your child. It's uh, just taking a short break in the action at the moment. Score is currently 2-2. Two -two. Now if you raise this, the As we take a break, TV table. We'll just run through some of the scores in the other matches. Ferdi Özdemir, Mr. Billiard Port, creator of the uh, billiardport.com portal. He's leading 7 1 up against Blaise Fellerman from France. Meanwhile, in a all French encounter on table three, Napsi Tan 
is 7-5 up against Nathaniel Veil. Table four sees Yannick Barabez 3-0 down against Joao Cardozo of Portugal. On table five, we've got a really close encounter in front of us. That's Mako Marabten. He's currently trading 7-6 against Yao Sim of England. Pretty high quality encounter, two strong players there facing off in the first round. It could still go either way. On table six, Pedro Limbert is 3-3 three, three against Aziz Hamra, another French-based player. Evo Arts is up 5-0 now against Nigel Webb on table nine. And Vincent Faquet in the battle of the Vincents. He's 1-0 up against Vincent Piemann of the Netherlands. Vincent Faquet finalist in last year's event. So Christoph, you played in this uh, in one of the qualifiers yesterday, right? Oh yeah, I tried to play, yeah. How did you After get on? After six months uh, away at the tables. Uh, yeah, I played the Robert Krems, uh, I told you, last 7-4. Played pretty good. I was in a hurry because of the traffic jam around Paris. was a little bit late for this game, so bad start, but it was okay. He played better than me, so logical, yeah, pretty, pretty normal defeat. And on the other side, uh, I was leading by 4, 4-0, four rest to 6, and I just lost my concentration. I mean, after six months uh, out of competition, pretty... What have you been doing all this time then? Playing snooker? Yeah, snooker. I'm trying to improve my level on snooker, and uh, yeah, we made the, Par the Paris Championship this year, again, in snooker. What do you see as the biggest differences between snooker and US pole then, Christoph? The game is is harder. You have to you have to be uh, to be focused all the time in snooker. No play, no no room for error. But the error is coming very very quick in snooker. In US pool uh, that's pretty different. The size of the table is also very, very different. The size of the pocket, also the size of the balls. And the growth is not the same. The rays are reacting differently. So many, many things are different. You are learning to uh, be the stay, in, stay in, in, into your position, in position. Don't move when you are making a shot. So you improve your own technique when you are playing snooker. But uh, you have to be humble. This game, this game uh, requests humility, and uh, maybe that's why the, the atmosphere between the players is a little bit different. More friendly, I think, more respectful. But it's, it's another game. Yeah, for me, both games are games of precision. Obviously, you can't afford to uh, to miss a ball by an inch or it's going to rattle in the pocket. Snooker, you need a little bit more precision because of the size of the pockets, which are obviously smaller. You can't really uh, play a ball in off of the rail in the same way as you can an American ball. Yeah. But maybe in terms of skill sets that are required, American ball perhaps needs more different uses of spin and moving the cue ball around the table in rotation games compared with snooker, which... You need to be more patient uh, on, a, on a snooker table, more patient. I mean, uh, sometimes um, safety shots are the, are the best way to, to prepare a, a win. And you have to be humble because uh, pockets doesn't allow a lot of uh, mistakes or you can, you can play with the pockets. 
or maybe a little, but just a little. You are when you're sp playing US pool, you're learning to play with the pockets. I mean, on the left side, on the right side, on the top, speed of the pocket. You can't do that on snooker. It's a big difference. And that's another game. You no, know, I played Carom when I started to play pool. So uh, I played the US pool during 15 years, and now I'm still playing snooker. That's different, but always it's always a, a pool game. So it completes your it completes your. Uh, your uh, your technique and also your knowledge is it's not easy to play at the same time snooker and, and US pool also and I will try to do that this uh, this year next weekend Saturday snooker and Sunday US pool that's an example but that could be there well as we know there's a lot of great pool players who were snooker players before Turning to Paul, we've got a couple of them here today. Tony Drago, of course, yeah. successful snooker player yeah. in the uh, in the past and still playing snooker today. Imran Majid as well has made five uh, five one four seven breaks in his uh, in his career. So we'll ask Team. these guys if we get a chance to speak with them. Yeah. What they see is the major differences. Yeah, but we will have the opportunity. I think that's uh, something we... We hope that they can come and join us as yeah. guests on the commentary at some point over the weekend. Yeah. And team is playing uh, is playing snooker, for, for instance, team the router. Dry break from Alex Elva. But don't worry, I will be there to kick your ass on during the competitions on the US pool to this year. Joe? Challenge is on. Yeah. We'll see. I have a revenge to take. You kicked my ass last year. <laughs> okay, that was a it was a a ranking game. It was a ranking match. Yeah, that was we were we were out of the 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 main board but you you won. Time for revenge. <laughs> so three two. Little bit uh, out of rhythm game. I don't know. That's not a uh, little bit. Yeah, the layouts haven't been easy. Yeah. Nasty wow. control cue ball there. Yep. Just killed it off the rail to get yep. behind the four. And let's start a new over speedy shot from Alex Ayer. Where could it go? Anyone's guess? Yes. In, In the, the pocket. <laughs> That's a good thing. And uh, you got a, a position on the four. Yes, got it. Nice shot from Alex. Great shot. Likes to play with speed, as you said. Rewarded something. on that he created occasion. Something. Yeah. Oh, Ferdi Osdemir won nine one against Bless Fallerman. Ferdi, I uh, just told you that he is in charge of the live scoring and the all the the software which allowed you to follow the the scores of the of the tournament. And he won the first game 9-1 against uh, an old, uh, an old player from France, Blaise Fallerman, very well known around Paris. Alex missed the four, but didn't leave anything on the seven and the nine, and blocking the path. Alex may have an opportunity here. If he can't take the pot, and he can certainly play an effective safety. 
strolls around the table. Took the cut on. Again, didn't make the four. Now you'd say that Zim has a good chance to try and win this rack. Yeah. If he's able to do it, it would be the first well, time he has a two rack lead. Not an easy one on the, on the four. I mean, you have to control, yeah. Possibly contact, it's okay. He, he touched the correct or the, the useful size of the of the eight. Watch out the side pocket, he's okay. He's okay. I think he got enough space to for playing the the brown seven on the top on the top left. Maybe some draw to play the side pocket. Okay no. Oh come on, this wow. pocket is very strange. I've seen a lot of balls missed down yeah. in that corner. Evo missed two times. Now, team. Guess it happens to the best of them. Yeah. And on stop shots. That's not on nah. throws or follows. It's all on stop shots. So it's yeah. the jinxed pocket on the TV table so far this weekend. And it had looked like uh, Tim was going to uh, open up a two rack lead for the first time. Yeah. That's no longer sure. And not a, the best result for our eggs. I mean, too short for the side pocket and too long uh, for the top left. Okay, manage. Nice recovery. Uh, maybe three all in a in a few in a few seconds. Hold well on. Watch the speed. Yeah. As we keep saying. Oh, but tell watch the speed to, uh, to Alex. <laughs> I can't say, <laughs> say that to him. He won't listen. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. He wheeled it in, forced it in. Yeah, those corner pockets have proved problematic for some players on the TV table yeah. so far. Yeah. They're not playing too difficult. It's just uh, really a question of speed, as, as we keep saying. And and sometimes you do have to try and force the balls in. And we have a donut, Ivo Arts, 9 0. Again, that's your web. We could have another one coming yeah. up. Joao Cardozo is leading 7-0 against Yannick Barabes. I told you about Joao. I told you that. He's a nice player. Sun is leading by one against Nathanael Vail. 8-7. Same score on table five with Del Sim against Mako Maratten. Yeah. Mikael is, is currently shooting in rack 16. We're still level on our table. Players have traded blows so far. Neither player able to pick up a, a lead and take control of the match. Tim, again, touches the jaw of the side pocket. That's the second time that he's made contact with that and keeps the cue ball down in the bottom half of the table, whereas he wanted it up at the top. was protected by the two and uh, just enough to to prevent uh, this uh, this one this zero one to go in it's pretty straight yeah watch out big speed uh, big throw from Tim yeah I can't work out what angle he's got I wonder if he might be able to stun for a up the table but he's gonna have to hit it pretty hard yeah I don't think the the pass place for the follow. The angle is not good for the follow, so it's gonna have to be a stand shot. Left hand English. Speed. Yes. Where's wow. the cue ball? Lot of speed. Even and managed to uh, overdo it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't see that one coming. <laughs> yeah, he loaded up with left hand English. And safety shot. Got down for the nice. three. Oh, is it 
Uh, you... Okay, so maybe a safety. We'll see from the way he lines it. up what he's going to do. Yeah, no, he's not, not going to to cut it. No risks taken. Three's pretty close to the pocket, but Alex has got his work cut out trying to make contact. And Aziz Zamra, our friend from Afghanistan, is leading 6-3 against Pedro Limbert. Portuguese. So it's not Limbert. Limbert? Pedro Limbert? Portuguese? I don't know. Wow. What a shot. What a shot from Alex. Wow. He makes it every time he's kicking at the ball. <laughs> Tim's better leaving him an open shot. <laughs> yeah, sure. Out the combo. Yeah, safety. A safety, a safety combo. Yeah, the five's gone a bit further than what he would have liked. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of trying to use the nine ball as a shield, but maybe just a bit too much speed. <laughs> Sends the five ball down and leaves it in a place where he can hit it. But Tim... Uh, was sold out pretty quickly. Says, here you go, Alex. Sing. It's between the two shots that he could have had there. Either the right hand side pocket or the bottom right, and he's ended up in the twilight zone. No man's land. Yeah. I think he's going to try and cut this into the side. And the seven has come back off in the rail into a difficult position. Doesn't appear to be any potting opportunity now for Alex. Well, he's looking at cutting it really thin. Uh, I'm not out. sure I like that. Watch, the, watch the scratch. The clutch. Oh, come on. Wow. What a shot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you, he plays the, the difficult shots better than the easy ones. Alex style. You know? In France, we used to see Alex playing this, this kind of, of game, so... Oh, stop. Yeah. yeah. As you said, he can, he can miss some easy shots, but all the, the big shots... It comes he's with so the business. On. Yeah. He's, be, he's up by one now. 4-3, and I think it's going to be this kind of game until the end, uh, close, and... Uh, Takes the lead for the first time in the match, Alex. Yeah. Much happened there on the break from Alex Ev. This has the potential to be a tricky rack. Got seven balls which are in fairly close proximity down at the bottom of the table. And he's not going to get where he wanted with the cue ball. I have to kick at the two now. Watch the nine. I don't think he knew too much about that, Tim. He apologizes to Alex after that fluke.
We said Alex had the lead for the first time. It didn't last very long. Kick onto yeah. the two nine combination, which rolled into the corner, into the side pocket. In the blink of an eye, he's brought the scores level again at four four. All of our matches on the live stream table have been pretty close so far. And this looks to be the same. And uh, Joel Cardoso won 9-0 versus Yanni Barabes was expected. Joel is a very nice, very nice, very good player. I mean that uh, not famous, but good, very good. Mikael Merepten is digging deep in his match against Del Sim. Looks to be 8-8, eight, eight, I think. Yeah, that's a little mistake on the on the last scoring because I saw Mikael push twice on the on the plus. 8-8-7 eight, eight, against him. And uh, the screen didn't react immediately, so. He's currently shooting on the four ball with an open table. Has the chance to seal a victory. His PLA teammates and some of the other French pool players are watching. Certainly going to be happy if he manages to seal this one. Alex has control of the table here in rack nine. Some elementary pots and yeah. should be a nice uh, opportunity for him to get some confidence with a nice clearance. He has to find something good on the seven, as uh, usual. You can maybe imagine uh, the seven on the, on the side pocket after two rail shots after contact on the six. One, two, here we are, two way shots after this, not by two way shot, no, two rail. After contact for three, one, two, and three maybe. Bounce, wants it to bounce out a bit. Wow. Never nice queuing right off of the rail, but it's got just a bit of space to work with. Yeah. And close to the rail, not easy play. Not easy to play. He played his shot good. 5-4 for Alex Eve against Tim De Ruta. It's our first Frenchman on the stream today in this French Open 2015 by Predator. It would be nice for the French pool community if they could open up with a win here. Yeah. Not to be close, I think. Not to be close. Is that an illegal break? I didn't see three balls cross the head string. In fact, I didn't see any cross the head string. Just made the one ball into the corner pocket, which was a th the red three, which brings Tim to the table. I wasted no time in making the one ball. Has to play a safety on the two, which isn't quite worked out to plan. Here comes Alex.
left with a sitter and a two. Now, this is four ball drive. Yeah. It looks to. Well. Yeah, did, you see, did you see what happened on the on the table five? Yeah, on table five, Mikhail yeah. Miratin. He missed, he missed, missed the eight. The he missed the nine ball. Golden nine ball. He missed the nine ball. Okay. At eight, eight. Yeah. Left and it uh, the rattled the in the corner pocket and left it hanging and handed the victory to uh, Dao Sim. Uh, from England. Yeah, but I don't know if uh, Del Sim didn't give the game to 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 Michael on on with making an international four. Then I don't know. We'll see. Meanwhile, here Alex is in trouble. Hooked on the four ball. It's a foul, ball in hand for Tim. Well, I don't know. Okay, Mikhail uh, just missed, okay. And uh, the, the, the night ball stayed inside the pocket, very uh, close to fall, but pretty devastating yeah. way to lose a match. Oh yeah, we've all been there. Yeah, it was uh, very crazy. So Dan Slim one nine eight, to be sure. Sun beat uh, Nathaniel V nine eight. Another hill hill match, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Between two French players. Vincent, Vincent Faquet is leading 5 1 against Vincent Piemann from Netherlands. Correct, Netherlands, yes. And uh, Aziz Amra from Afghanistan is leading 8 3 against Pedro Limbert, Lambert. Don't now, Aziz, he. Uh, plays on the French pool circuit, but he's been out of action for a few years, right? Yeah. Made a comeback in the first national tournament. Yeah. In Tell me a little bit about this guy. Actually, in France, you have a lot of players from uh, different communities. I mean, Chinese people, uh, people from Afghanistan, from Portugal, uh, and so on. So they are playing in the French Championship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a miss from Tim. What a miss. Could be costly. <coughs> yeah. Alex is going to have a two right lead here. And let's uh, see. Yeah. It's a big mistake. Yes, I think so. So many, many d players from different uh, countries are playing the French Championship. But they are in France since a long time, as Aziz. We are in France since uh, about 10 years. And uh, he's still Afga from Afgan Afghanistan, so the same thing for uh, Ivo Markov. He is in France since four years now, but uh, he is Bulgarian, not French. Yeah, I think for me that's one of the, the best things about this sport. It's probably the most played Q sport over the world. American pool. Mm. People in all countries are familiar with the game, in whether it's in bars or in competition. And you know there can only be potential for the game to grow. Really, there's yeah, yeah. Let's compare. Let's compare it's it with snooker, as we were talking about the technique earlier, right? In snooker, in, in my home country, in the UK, mm -hmm. it's a it's a big sport. Had a big boom in the 1980s a lot more sponsorship money than American Paul, but it's not played in as many countries as American Paul all around the world, that's sure. for sure. Sure. 
you know in China he is uh, he's in snooker now since uh, the, f the success of uh, Li Jui and, uh, the China has now many 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 young players so this uh, and they've got their own version of eight ball pool as well uh -huh. which uh, Darren Appleton was telling us last month is a big priority for him now, the Chinese eight ball tournaments, big dollar prize funds involved with those events. Kind of a mix between the two. You got, I think it's an eight foot or n maybe a nine foot table. Big uh, sized uh, American pool sized balls and pockets which are pretty damn tight, like a snooker table. So uh, yeah, he beat. Mark Selby in the final of that event at the start of this year. And wow, we've just seen another another miss from Tim De Reuter. Maybe starting to lose a little bit of confidence with these elementary misses. Yeah. Big uh, big mistakes. I mean, uh, he has a hand on uh, each table. He missed a nine, he just missed a seven. It could be done by three. Uh, well, yeah, he's looking pretty confident, Alex. You'd have to say he's been the better of the two players so far. Yeah, Fully done. deserves his 7 4 lead, which he's about to have. Now needs to try and close out this match, show a clinical side. Nice break from Alex. Made two balls and got the seven below the head string to make sure it was a legal break. However, it's a long shot on the three. He's not phased by the playing on the TV table here. He's been reveling the setting so far, although that's a poor miss on the three ball. So we're in rank 12, Christoph. Scores 7 4 for Alex. Is he the favourite now? Um, Tim made two unusual mistakes just before. Just two easy balls for him. Okay. Uh, Alex seems to be okay, to be relaxed, to be good uh, in his game. So um, if. Uh, if Tim is continue to miss, I don't uh, see uh, Alex losing this game. Okay. It all it depends. All it depends of uh, what Tim uh, is gonna have to do now. It's good cue ball control there from Alex. Managed yeah, maybe a little bit lucky he because to swerve it. managed to get it in behind the nine ball. Yeah. And as a result, what will he have? The three's just gonna hang. Look for a second like De Reuter might have fluked the three, but it's Ev instead. It's going to pot the three and have an open table in front of him. <laughs> nice.
Nice control. Let's have the four into the top right. It's going to be followed by the five into the bottom right. Then he's going to have to move, move the cue ball a little bit from five to six and six to seven. Certainly within his capabilities. Big draw? Yeah, I think he's got pretty straight, so he's going to have to be drawing. Mind the eight ball. Yeah, and keeping some in goal on the six to, uh, to manage a good... Uh, enough. If he'd yeah, to been a little bit slower, he might have... Right English, speed. Okay. He's okay. But it's the same on this one. Watch out to to be to touch exactly where he has to touch this seven. He can he can play with uh, left English below to raise. Okay. Wow. Why go two rails when you can go four? Yeah. <laughs> four is better than two. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, he's looking in his element, Alex. He's got stronger as the game has gone on. Whereas Tim has found himself a little bit flustered. This for eight four. Yeah, this for eight four, and uh, you'd have to say this would be Alex. somewhat of an upset if the result does go in favour of Alex. Oh, interesting game on table five. UGC, Michel Nathalie. Good game, very nice game. UGC. Former ten ball world champion. Yeah. From the Netherlands. And Mich Nathalie, former two time nine ball master French champion. Ten years ago. So an old school old school player. Good nine ball pedigree. Yeah. Won two titles in a row. That's always it's always hard. And he made it. But UG of course, experience on the side, uh, big player, big European player. One of the favorites of this tournament, once again. It's for sure any of the, the Dutch players really could be considered worthy challengers. Poor safety from Alex is followed up by pretty poor safety from Tim too. Alex now has a bunch of balls on the left hand side of the table to hide behind. He's managed to get his cue ball in there. One is hidden on the right hand side of the table but there does appear to be space to kick through one rail between the four and the seven. Hit the side rail above the side pocket and make contact with the one. Sending it down to the bottom of the table. Just leaves a window. And I wonder whether Alex can make this one ball. Made a great pop, but just collided with the eight ball. He would have liked to avoid it and have the two in the same pocket. Now he's going to be forced to play safe. Looks like he's hidden it. 
pretty well. Tim De Reuter, 8-4 down. Having to kick at this ball. It's not in his comfort zone at the moment. This time he doesn't get away with the mm -hmm. wild shot. Two, he's down by the corner pocket. Although managing to do anything with the cue ball for the three is going to be tough. Just look at where the cue ball is. Up by the top rail. And the distance that it has to travel to to get back for the three. Yeah, and as, as a result, another wild shot from Tim. Difficult to control that. Now, does he leave a cross corner bank on? He might have left it on. I think that's what Alex tried, but he Got a double kiss, and maybe he's fortunate again because just look at the four ball. Kind of safety. This rack is still yet to open up for either player. But it may do now. A very makeable two ball for Tim. Yeah. And the three is now out in the open in the bottom half of the table. Just oh, speed wasn't a good choice, I think. If you're playing not, a lot of uh, safety shots, not really yeah. warm enough. And if you're not in, in the center of the pocket with this speed, you can't you can't pocket it. Good answer from Alex, even if uh, it's a little bit too long. Wow, sacré bleu. Ça perd l'hypopète. I did not see that one coming completely. <laughs> but a lot of out of form because yeah. using the rest is just managed well, to contact the nine ball. A lot of work to do for Alex anyway. Sure. I mean, uh, considering the position of the three, that's okay. But the six and the, and the eight uh, with the seven close to the nine. Yeah, five to six. It's going to require the cue ball to travel a long way. And yeah. it's not going to be Alex okay. necessarily shooting it because so he's just missed a pretty straight three ball. Mm, trying to force the cue ball out. Well, I don't know if it's or tactic or just errors. <laughs> so we'll see you. What's seen both players miss. Oh, maybe watch out the combo with the, with the cue ball. If you 
if you pocket the, the four, the combo is not is not possible. You can play the filler if you want. Okay, that's not the option, and it was pretty obvious. So here we are, five to yeah, six to seven. Shot. He wants to be shooting the six into the bottom left. So he's going to have to go around two or maybe three rails. Big shot for Tim to stay in this match. One, two. Is he going to come up short? Oh, he's going to be okay. Yeah. Good yeah. contact point on the third rail. Watch out the speed for this one. It needs to get out now. First of all, you have to pocket it. And second one, you have to avoid the side pocket. Goodness. <laughs> I saw it coming, you know? It came very, very close to that yeah. side pocket. Yeah, pretty obvious. Loaded up with right-hand English. And now but it's about... should, should be okay. bring this back to 8-5, Tim. Alex is still going to have opportunities of his own, own break. Okay, 8-5. 8-5. So, team uh, took advantage of this mistake from Alex on the free. 8 5. The game is not down. I mean, that uh, all can happen, all can still happen on this game to me. Yeah, break and runs have been at a premium so far in the first round of the final stages. Having the nine ball on the spot, of course, makes it more difficult to make a ball and play position on whichever ball is on the table afterwards. Plus, we have the three-point rule, taking away the op option of any kind of soft break. Now, I haven't counted the number of balls that Tim's missed in this match, but I think we're in double figures. Yeah, but nothing's done, nothing is done. I mean, one for two, okay, three, three uh, as two blockers, nine on the top left and uh, the, 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 the eight on the top right. And after that, uh, maybe potential problem. Getting the, the orange five because of the six. Okay, too long. Okay, we stop the discussion. Too long for the two, so <laughs> we have to play Start Ray first. Another discussion. Yeah, Ray first. Over speedy shot, as usual. Try to create something, something good, of course. Uh, well. You gotta hit yes. the two ball first before you think about anything else. And and now team has has a problem. Has a problem to solve. It's a position of a is a free. The red free. What are you going with this red free? Maybe a combo three nine, three eight? It looks like he's gonna play safe. A safe behind the six and the five. Give himself a nicer position. Yeah, and moving two to three. maybe moving the something. Yeah, and he's yeah, good. Got him in jail there. Good, because the two now is giving the free if you have the ball in hand. But Alex is able to touch that in the two rays first. I think so. Maybe three ray first. Yeah, three ray first also. But you have to play very long, close to the bottom, bottom wide pocket. I think with a lot of English. Oh, he's playing short. Okay, four four rays. 
always and no oh, maybe a little bit short. Too bad. Nice choice. I like it. Nearly got there. Yeah. Wouldn't have probably had enough speed to have a rail after oh the maybe maybe too long on the first contact on the on the rail. I mean uh, you had to pay this shorter but not easy to manage. Because you are you 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 need some speed so so uh, calculate a, a calculate an angle or the, or the first point on the on the rail is not easy when you are going to to use speed. There's not a natural natural reaction of the of the cue ball after contact. So Especially when you've got to hit another three rails afterwards. Yeah. So still our five orange five potential problem on the t on the on the table. Man, he's a bit funny on the three here. Yeah, he's, he's got short. to cut it into the think center. And yeah, I think he's short. It's careless off of the, the two ball with ball in hand. You can't get out of position just one shot into your run out. <laughs> sure. Oh, nice recovery. He covers. Yeah. Manages to draw the ball above the side pocket. Okay. With a stop shot, maybe he's got the solution. Maybe a little draw, a very, very slight draw on the four. He will have the solution. <laughs> yes, he's got the angle, the correct angle on the on the four on the five. And he's taking his time. Yeah. You know. Did you see? We are watching the same rhythm and the same attitudes as the first, as a, the last game. I mean, uh, the previous game. As f no, the second, the game between Olivier and uh, and Mark. And Mark. Uh, the players put their, their reason down and uh, because of the score and they are checking everything now and uh, and team didn't didn't make didn't make the, the this uh, these actions during all the game and now he's checking everything Ooh, you, you, it's interesting you what pressure will do to you start to feel the yeah, heat but it's too late you know they not you are you are done by four, by three, by four. It's too late to to start the engine, you know. So if he is down by four, that's the own fault. He missed a lot of balls and uh, gave a lot of gifts to uh, to Alex. Okay, Alex played good also. Sure. You know, you see. No, no, uh, maybe uh, first time 30 we've minutes seen ago. Him walk he around the table to check the angles. Yeah, yeah. Taking longer than he was earlier in the match. And it seems to be working off. It's within yeah. two now after this nine ball. Yeah. And he will be breaking. So Alex needs to make sure he takes any opportunity to close out the match. Yeah, he needs to close the match very, very quickly now. Because uh, Tim uh, just showed us that he's is into the game is uh, motivated to to come back and uh, now Alex the first opportunity must be the good one for him that's right he'll be feeling the heat himself the Parisian Made a ball, the eight in the side pocket. It's a legal break. Two balls in a tricky position there over on the right hand side of the table.
getting livelier here in the pool club. Yeah. More and more people. Yeah, little wide. You know, watching a little it's, bit. It's through, yeah, little wide. Uh, people are a little bit tired. Uh, they are tired to to wait also. They are asking for their their schedule, and we are close to the to the tournament director, so not uh, in, a, in a quiet area. <laughs> yeah, it's half eight now. In and the uh, you got don't another round of matches due to start at nine yeah, o'clock. And you don't see that uh, sometimes uh, players are coming to uh, to us to to know their <laughs> their schedule and. Unfortunately, we can't see anything. We don't have any any information about. So, uh, gonna be jumping here, Tim. Yeah. Dutch Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will propose. I will propose this nickname to Tim. Well, let's see if Dutch he makes a Airlines. shot. <laughs> If you make it, it's gonna have to be Dutch Bank. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a bit of a shot to nothing. Not really. If you are considering the position of the two, uh, it's, yeah. it's not uh, a miss or, or miss or lose. That's just a miss. That's the miss. And Alex can. Uh, Alex straight down on the shot. Can reply with uh, another safety. Oh, yes, good play. Nice cue. Good, ball. good, good, good choice. Very nice choice. But with the two, um, I think that uh, each player has a chance. Can lose uh, the end right now. That's maybe not a problem, but uh, we can expect uh, to have a play to, to play something uh, something hard after a safety from your opponents if you lose the, the end now. Something behind the, uh, the five range, for instance. Fired at that. Oh, oh, everything has changed. <laughs> he didn't really need to. Yeah. Take that risk, Alex. Sure. It was probably better. And he touched. Leaving a tricky table. And he touched the group of the balls we talk about. I mean, yeah. uh, two, four, and uh, and, and two five. And the five are still. Yeah. Five years too, Not but necessarily an easy can combination. You can but imagine it looks the combination. Makeable. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty makeable. And not well, from, from this angle. Yeah, <laughs> not from there. <laughs> Could we see a safety maybe? Oh yeah. Tuck that cue ball stuck up to the five. Yeah, stuck the the, the cue ball just on the back of this table uh, of this ball. Conventional safety, easy contact for Alex, and over speed chart as usual. Tell you what, he's going to kick this in the top left corner. Uh, not an first time he's missed a kick shot all day. Yeah, but he didn't make all his gas on this on this shot, and uh, and finally the two is very make you uh, not. Not makeable, but playable. I don't say uh, I can't say playable. I mean that's uh, very easy to play for team and to imagine another safety. Yes. Bit loose. Yeah, not 
not hard to, to touch once again for for Alex and with the free close to the with the free close to the the bottom right you can imagine a, a fluke we we'll see wouldn't roll it out we we'll see fluke is coming it's hard to call a fluke <laughs> fluke is coming and we've just done it <laughs> Not a jump, guy. Fluke is coming. Oh, come on. Okay. He was going to be kicking at this, but he's got his jump stick out. Yeah, so Fluke is not coming. One way first on the on the right side of the table. You touch the right part of the two, you, you, have, you had a chance to... Head to towards to the three, that's yeah. right. But he's going to be jumping straight at the two. And Fluke is not coming. Cubo ends up pretty nice for Alex. <laughs> right down at the yeah. bottom of the table. This is a tester. That's, that's, a, that's a difficult shot at this, uh, in this position, close to the rail. He's got nowhere to hide, really. Oh. You can play these two very thin and, uh, and go to the top uh, left side of the, b of, the, of the table, maybe. I think he's got to take this on, Tim. He went for it, uh, yeah, missed yeah. it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But the three ball you know, it deserved blocks the path to the ball. He deserved to squash. Honestly, he deserved to squash on this shot because it was a, a big miss. But he didn't crash, so... Clinging into the match by the skin of his teeth, really. Ooh, that's a bad, bad, bad choice from Alex. I can see what he was going for. He, it was an attack, defense, two-way shot. Uh, yeah. Could have, could have made the the cross corner bank. Could yeah. have left the the two on the bottom rail where it would have been safe. With the three ball in the position, it, it it's in. The risk was maybe worth taking, but he's going to be punished now. Uh, yes. Maybe four tools to five, but I, I didn't see any, I didn't see other reason to miss for our team. Okay. Yeah, okay. But now that's pretty obvious for our for team, so I think is. Glad to be back. To be back uh, one down after these uh, five balls. Okay, some follow for the four without spin or maybe with a, a little right English. Five on the same pocket and you go back for the six. Okay, you can play this way. So. Okay, some draw, maybe just to find something close to the position of the cue ball right now. Maybe follow with a right English after that and uh, it's close to be 8-7. Here we are. Can we be going hill hill again, Christoph? No, no, no. We have on, uh, on the Serie 9-7 now. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Alex had a four rack advantage. Yeah. At eight four. Yeah, but he missed the he's first opportunity he's eight got. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, I told you he has to close the game very quickly now. Team is back. He's back and his focus is back and uh he is on the rhythm, on the good rhythm for the He's digging deep yeah. to stay in this one. Alex needs a big break to take control of the next rack. <laughs> Nine ball sinks. Needs a good break and he also needs a bit of luck with the layout. Uh, yeah, now luck is part of the game. 
race to race, yeah. It's not a race to two, but it uh, could be a race to two for Tim. It's a race for one for Alex. Two frames to go, Max. Anyway. I tell you what, he wouldn't turn down a golden break if it came along. No, it's time to fluke. We saw <laughs> Nick Vandenberg make a golden break with the nine kicked into the side. Yeah, but not this, uh, not this, this time. time. Not this time. And that's, uh, is it a legal one? It's a dry well, it's one. It's a dry <laughs> break. So don't uh, talk about with an open illegal. Shot. Uh, it is open. That's an open one. No? One, two, three, four, five, five to six is pretty, pretty tricky, I think. Okay, what a spin. What, what a spin he put on this, on this shot. And he lost a little bit the position on the two. Yeah, it was always going to be tricky getting straight on the two. It was coming across the line of the shot. to play safe didn't like wow. the angle he had for the pot wow good choice good choice from Tim I'm still uh, asking to myself uh, for myself why he didn't play this way since the start of the game hmm? that's a good question because maybe he didn't know Alex maybe he didn't know well Alex if he underestimated his opponent, he's certainly been made to think twice now. Yeah. I think the it's maybe a, a natural reaction to the pressure of being down several wrecks. Yeah, he lost. He, he, he's hating to lose. There's the quality of a champion, you know. You don't want to lose. You hate it. So he's fighting for... He's fighting for a win, not for a lose, and uh, he's making uh, all he can do uh, now to to have the yeah to have the advantage. He's got a chance to play At another end, good safety here. Alex has managed to hold his own in the safety battle in this rack, but now Tim's got a chance to put him in real trouble. Wow. Didn't manage to hide the two. And there's now a cut shot on for Alex Ev into the top left corner. Made it nicely. Yeah. Nice cue ball too. Three rails in the end and he's pretty perfectly straight on the three. Yeah, I can push. Needs to maybe take a, a couple of breaths here, work out his run out before getting down and shooting. All the balls are out in the open. Mm -hmm. This is a golden opportunity for Alex to seal the game. Wow, too long, guy. Come on. So far away of what he, did, he needed to. Uh, now that's a cut. Uh, but shot the control of the cue ball after contact. Gotta make it. Yeah, but what are the shot. control? Which are the control of the cue ball is okay. Cue ball is pretty good. He can naturally stun yeah. up the table for the six. Yeah. So good recovery, good execution. Yeah. Good recovery. Needs to hold his nerve. Very good recovery. Perfect recovery. Yeah. Because uh, it was not uh, 
obvious to recover this way from uh, the bad shot he, he made on the free. And he's perfect now. Watch out the position of the of the cue ball after this contact because the nine is a kind of blocker. So you have to avoid uh, to stay just gonna play the seven in the same pocket. Yeah. Follow to raise position on the should be able to seal the win here, Alex. Hold on the cue ball. <laughs> I'm not sure. Wow. I'm not sure he wanted to go that far. I think he would. He okay. wanted the eight pretty nice and straight in the side pocket. He has As to it is, he's cutting it. He has to cut it to avoid the contact. And if he avoid the contact, he will be OK. I mean, that uh, we will go to the There's short There's a couple trail. of ifs there. Yeah, we will go to the top short trail and uh, and I think with the spin, he will be okay. But avoid the contact guy. Ah, he played the contact. Oh, play the con oh he, he's still okay. He's still okay. A little bit lucky, I think. Risky. Yeah. Risky contact, but. Yeah, but he's gonna have to be okay. Nice touch. Hey, he's okay. Alexev That's a win. Takes the win, 9 7, over Tim de Reuter. Yeah. It's the first French victory on our live stream. 9-7, I told you, the series is not 7 now. I think he, over the whole of the match, probably deserved that, Alex. He, he let Tim get close in the end, but mm. to meet took Tim, the last opportunity. To meet his team, Tim deserved to, to lose because of his attitude at the beginning of the game. I mean, n not focused enough and uh, not uh, on the good reason for a win. But I think uh, he, he's knowing that team is he uh, got some experience uh, Alex Alex took advantage of this situation but that's a good win for Alex anyway yeah, and, nice uh, and team is not all is not out because yeah he, he has the, the loser side to play so yeah and Tim will certainly be a formidable opponent for anyone on the lose, loser side who should be unlucky enough to get drawn against him I hope you've enjoyed that match in the first round the Predator French Open. We're going to take a short break and we're going to be back pretty soon.